Hey, Learning Leopards. Today is Tuesday. It is May 26th, and it is time for our sound work. It's the first day of sound work this week because yesterday was a holiday. It was Memorial Day, so there was no school. This will also be our last week of sound work. Next week is the last week of school, and so we won't do sound work that week. This will be our last week. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our rhymes. Okay, so this time I'm going to say which word rhymes with and then give you a word and give you two examples and you're going to tell me which one rhymes. Okay, so for example, which word rhymes with chore, sure or chin, sure. All right, here we go. Which word rhymes with nest, chest or sun, chest. Which word rhymes with pant, miss or plant, plant. Which word rhymes with thump, bump, or stand? Bump. You can hear that. Bump, thump. They both end with an ump. Which word rhymes with round, kind, or sound? Sound. Which word rhymes with chimp, shrimp, or tank? Shrimp and chimp. Which word rhymes with thing, string, or this? String. All right, today for our beginning sounds, I'm going to say three words. You're going to listen to all three words. They're all going to start with the same sound, and then you're going to tell me the sound that they start with, okay? So, ready? Here we go. Chase, check, chip. First sound, ch. Do you hear that in chase, check, and chip? They all begin with the ch sound. All right, here we go. Share, shave, shin. First sound is sh. Them, there, then. First sound is th. chime, cheek, chess. First sound, ch. Thick, thin, thank. First sound, th. Nice job. All right, I'm going to say some sounds. We're going to blend them together. Here we go. Lunch, lunch. M I N T. Mint. S O L D. Sold. R A N C H. Ranch. F E L D. Field. R E N T. Rent. M O S T. Most. Ch A N G change thread thread last one P on pond nice job all right this week we're going to isolate the last sound in the word so remember we're going to punch it out so i'm going to say the word okay you're going to say the word and then we're going to punch it together and say that last sound ready here we go wish 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 last sound Ball, 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 last sound, laugh, 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 last sound is read, 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 last sound, d, 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 class, 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 last sound, Budge, budge, budge. Last sound, ch, ch, ch. Spine, spine, spine. Last sound, n. Nice job. Okay, now we're going to get our choppers out. These words have more than three sounds sometimes, so we're going to have to listen very closely for each individual sound. Here we go. Fresh, fresh. Fresh, beach, beach, b each, rent, 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 switch, 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 hand, hand, and cold, cold, cold. Shield, shield, sh e l d. That L and D at the end, that l d is hard. Those are two separate sounds. So sh e l d. 
teach, teach, t e ch. That's my most favorite thing to do. Bump, bump, b a m p. Roast, roast, r o s t. Nice job. All right. I'm going to give you the rhyme or the ending part of the word. We're going to put an onset on beginning, and we're going to find out what the word is. Here we go. Each, each, add bull, bleach, at, at, add full, flat, ant, ant, add pool, plant, I, I, add sl, sly, ick, ick, add cool, click. Nice job. Now we're going to take that onset off, that beginning sound off, and see what's left. Here we go. Plot. Plot without pool is ought. Sled, sled without sl is ed. Blend, blend without bull is end. Glad, glad without ghoul is ad. Flash, flash without full is ash. Awesome. All right, now we're going to take off that beginning sound, change it to something different. We're going to have a whole new word. Here we go. Ready? Dance. Dance, change d to ghoul, glance. Fast, fast, change f to bull, blast. Ring, ring, change r to sl, sling. Hat, hat, change h to full, flat. Last one, duck, duck, change d to cool, cluck. Excellent. All right, let's go through. And do our letters and sounds. Here we go. Ready? Letter I sound. I, I, I. Second sound I. Letter Z sound Z. Letter N sound N. Letter J sound J J J. Letter V sound V. Letter H sound Letter Q sound qu qu qu. Letters S H sound sh. Letter U sound a a a. Second sound U. Letter F sound f. Letter P sound p p p. Letters T H sound f. Letter M sound m. Letter R sound r. Letter E sound e e e. Second sound e. Letter T sound t t t. Letters C H sound ch ch ch. Letter S sound s. Letter A sound a a a. Second sound a. Letter O sound a a a. Second sound o. Letter k sound k k k. Letter y sound y y y. Can also say e or i when it's used as a vowel. Letter d sound d d d. Letters w h sound w w w. Letter x sound x. At the beginning of a word, it might say z. Letter G sound g g g. Second sound j j j. Letter B sound b b b. Letter W sound w w w. Letter L sound l. Letter C sound k k k. Second sound s. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna do a new poem this week. And today we're going to look for a sight word in the first two lines of our poem. It's just a few words. But this is a sight word that you may have practiced when we were still at Johnson. And if not, you may have picked it up since you've been home. Let's take a look at this word. This is the word my. M-Y-My. -my. Okay, and let's take a look at this word. I noticed that M is blue and Y is red. And we've talked about how sometimes Y acts like it's a vowel. And when it makes, when it has that vowel sound, it can say E or I. You know, when we go through our sound work, we say Y, 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 can also say E or I. Listen to what sound it makes in this word. Ready? 
M I my. What sound do you hear that vowel make? I. It's stealing that long I sound. So this is the word m I my. So in this case, that Y is acting like a vowel, making that long I sound. This is the word my. I want you to take a look at our new poem. And before we even read it, I want you to see if you can find the word my. Have you found it? I see it two times up there, once in the title and once in the actual poem. Yep, here it is, my, and here it is again, my. This is a poem called One, Two, Buckle My Shoe, okay? Can you read that title with me? One, Two, Buckle My Shoe. And you know what? You might look at this word and you might say, but Mrs. Hartwell, I know how to spell two, and this is not how you spell it. You spell it T-O. Well, when we talk about the number two, like I have two fingers up right now, we spell it T-W-O, so that's the number two. All right, let's read this. One, two, buckle my shoe. Here we go. One, two, buckle my shoe. If you notice, the first two lines of the poem have the same words as the title. So let's read it one more time. If you have your own copy that you've printed out, you can use your pointer finger or another type of pointer that you found at home. Here we go. One, two, buckle my shoe. One, two, buckle my shoe. All right, and don't forget about this sight word that we learned today that we talked about that you might already know. The word is my. Excellent job today, kindergarten. See you tomorrow.